are going on an adventure. And I think we're gonna stay for two nights. Unless it rains really heavily tomorrow, we'll just have to see. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Yeah, like this is this is completely soaking, <laughs> soaking wet. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Are they so cold? They're so they look cold. swollen. <laughs> they are they are swollen. They're so cold. After almost two weeks of traveling, painting and making art together, digging for quartz and amethyst while snow gently fell around us, and sport climbing outdoors for the first time in a long while for me. My time exploring with my friend Sarah Yak was coming to a close. Before parting, we decided to find a backpacking trail close by to get out of service, to immerse ourselves in nature, and to really enjoy our last couple days together. We found a trail only about an hour away from where we were staying, and on reaching the road to the trailhead, the haunted canyon, we realized the place might be aptly named. We wove down a steep, muddy road through a mining property, with barren and destroyed mountaintops surrounding us as we went. So despite the reviews about how wonderful our hike would be, we were still rather relieved when around the last bend we arrived at our lush destination, a riparian zone with beautiful trees, a gently flowing stream, and songbirds calling in the distance. Okay, so Sarah and I just came to Haunted Canyon Trailhead and we're about to pack our backpacking bags and go for an 11.6 mile trail in and back and I think we're going to stay for two nights. Unless it rains really heavily tomorrow, we'll just have to see. You're a backpacking girl now. What do you think, baby? We are going on an adventure. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. <laughs> feeling good, feeling excited? Yeah, it's a beautiful day to be hiking. The first three quarters of the trail are mostly next to a stream and then it says that the last quarter of the trail is next to a bunch of stagnant water. So we're thinking we might just try to find a rustic campsite right next to the stream because there's really no one out here and there's a lot of empty space. I'm excited. There's no one out here. There's no one no out here at all. Coming. It doesn't say Haunted Canyon on it, but I feel like it has to be it. Yeah, I think so. It says trail. Yeah. It's just weird that it's not next to the creek though. Yeah. And we're kind of relying on that water. <laughs> what a funny little gate. I think we've walked like three miles and we still haven't found water, but it's so, so pretty here. And I think we're just gonna keep walking and hope for the best. <laughs> but if we can't find water tonight, I think we'll end up having to go back tomorrow and maybe find a camp spot towards the beginning of the trailhead. Though I hope we don't have to do that because it's way prettier out here and it feels so quiet. There's nobody out here. And sometimes when we're not talking, it's just the sound of our feet and there's like nothing else. It's just so peaceful. And nice. Can you hear it? 
We found water. So we just found our campsite. We're both already ravenous, so we're gonna eat mac and cheese right now, even though I think it's probably like three o'clock in the afternoon. And then we're gonna set up our tent like right behind us, right here. How much do you think we need? Just a few extra handfuls just to be safe. <laughs> Ooh, I actually kind of like that it's like the old school macaroni noodles. I feel like I often buy shells. Dear friend. <laughs> I think food is always better when you're camping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's true. So for that reason, I think it's delicious. The vegetables are really good, mm -hmm. and I'm glad we put it in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> her facial expression, she's like wagging her tail like, can I replace my stomach now? <laughs> We decided we're having ramen for breakfast. <laughs> Might seem weird, but if you were here right now, you'd want it to. You would understand. We've spent a lot of the day in the tent actually because it's been super cloudy and we've been anticipating rain pretty much the entire day and it finally has begun. Yep, cool. And you can turn that and that adjusts like how big it is, yeah. Ah! Wait, I wanna come inside and do this. Just playing charades. That was so cute. <laughs> that was a cute part of the day. That was really cute. I kind of wish we had filmed some of it. I know, and us trying to duet. Mm -hmm. Eliza. This is how Eliza and I sleep when we backpack together. Eliza sleeps in the sleeping bag, zipped up with me. And so we both stay very cozy and very warm. Liza, come here. There she is. Good morning, Eliza. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? We're heading back today and I'm happy because all of my gear is, is damp and it'll be nice to get nice and warm and dry soon. Yeah, like this is, this is completely soaking, <laughs> soaking wet. <laughs> I've decided to not even worry about everything being soaked and when we get back to Phoenix, I'm just gonna dry everything out. I don't know where I heard that from, but yeah. Just a little wet. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Are they so cold? They're so they look cold. swollen. <laughs> they are they are swollen. They're so cold. Bye campsite. Yeah, it kind of springs back. Come on. Enough. How did you do this? This is the weirdest gate I've ever encountered. I think maybe making it go up higher on the bottom. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Sarah and I are back at the vans and we're about to leave each other. We've been traveling together for probably like two weeks and it's gonna be kind of bittersweet to say goodbye, but Sarah is actually making us one last meal. A delicious scramble. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. I'm so excited. It already smells so good. Can I help in any way? No, you can't. <laughs> it's not me for you. you. <laughs> it is so big. <laughs> it's a big boy. Big boy. Sarah and I are taking our last drive together and it happens to be in this super sketchy mine area. And we just passed by some backpackers that told us that it was pretty slippery and that they skidded. So <laughs> we're hoping that it all goes smoothly. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. She can't contain her excitement. And we kind of. <laughs> are you? Are you okay? This is a beautiful hike. I'm not even worried that we're just not gonna have water. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you actually walk that tall? Are you okay? Stranded out here with no water. No water to be found. <laughs> Remember when Sarah fell? Oh my gosh. Come on. Enough. How did you do this? It's good. Oh no, it's not. What? It says vegan on the. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> good job. Good dainty lady. Okay, chill. <laughs> This is how you unzip a den. No. <laughs>